Hi everybody. So I'm going to show you how to create the Smurfs. And this is what they're going to look like. Now in this video, I am just going to be showing you how to create the heads. This is what we're going to make in today's video. So if you wanted to make Papa Smurf, this is what you're going to get. If you want to make the regular Smurf, you want to use these colors. And if you're making Smurfette, it takes the exact same head. Now these are the supplies that you're going to need just to create the head. We have our blue. I'll be using the neon blue that I found at Michael's. Or if you're using these, are these bands, I use the glow blue. So pick what you'd like. Your white four millimeter pony beads if you don't have the safety eyes. I show you how to use that and I also show you to use bands instead. The safety eyes that I'm using are a small safety eye and I'm pretty sure in the video I said 76 millimeter. Now the package says that but maybe it should be 7.6 millimeter because they're tiny. You're going to need your scissors, you're going to need a piece of felt or as mentioned in the video you can use a cardstock paper or two pieces of paper even glued together. Your loom, your hook, your stitch marker and some stuffing. So I'm going to get started and I do hope you enjoy. Now we're going to make the little nose and there's three rounds to the nose. We're going to start off with a magic ring with eight stitches. Now if you can do this without the loom, it would be a little bit better because you wouldn't have the little hole in the center. So if you are using the loom, you're just going to have to remember to kind of push it so it will close back up. So whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm going to start off with my eight single crochets in the magic ring. So my first band, I'm going to wrap around the bottom peg three times. One, two, and three. And bring eight bands through one at a time. Reaching in with your first top loop over and bring it to the side and back in. Grab your second band and top two loops over. And just continue until you've used eight bands up. Make sure you're bringing your bands to the side. And attach your stitch marker to this band that's around your hook and you can remove off the loom. Move your bands around and you should have eight stitches. So now you have, you have eight stitches and I'm without my stitch marker here. I am going to do a single crochet in the first chain, one band. Then I'm going to do an invisible decrease, so it's two and three together. So I'm going to do a slip stitch on the next two chains and do a decrease. Then a single crochet followed by an invisible decrease followed by two single crochets. So at the end of this round you're going to have six stitches. So let's go on our first chain with one band. Now these two chains we're going to stitch together doing the invisible decrease. I tried doing it just stitching two and three together but it was too tight. So leaving it on your hook, go to your next chain and do a slip stitch. You have three loops and then you want to slide. Followed by your single crochet, so this is chain four with one band and an invisible decrease again. So a slip stitch in each chain. The next chain, slip stitch. Three loops and slide. Now in your last two chains, you're just adding one band. So one single crochet in the last two chains. And for some reason, my bands are really sticky right now. I opened up another pack and it's sticky. So you have six stitches. 
one, two, three, four, five, and six is on your hook. So now for round three, you're going to do six single crochets, adding one band to each chain. So you can remove your stitch marker. You don't really need to use it, but just so you can see where I'm at. You don't want to start where your band is being pulled. Go in your first chain with your first band. Your next chain with one band. All the way till you get to the stitch marker. The last band, you want to do a slip knot to tie it closed. And the last. Bring it through all of the loops that are on your hook, grab the end, and tie it off. Remove your stitch marker, and you want to add three sewing bands. So I'm going to be skipping where I start where this slip knot is, the chain right beside, I'm going to skip and go to the next one. And do a slip knot. These are our sewing bands. I'm going to skip the next stitch and go to the other. So I just skipped a stitch. And my last one is going to be right beside my slip knot. So I'm going to skip the stitch and I'm going to end up right beside my slip knot. And this is what you should have. For round one, we're going to do five single crochets in the magic ring. So I'm going to take my first band and wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, and three. And then pull five bands through one at a time. So reach in and bring your first band through, other end on your hook, and bring your top loop over and bring it to the side. It's important to bring it to the side so it just doesn't get all clumped up. You're going to go back in and bring your second band through on your hook and bring your top two loops over and again bringing it to the side and then you're just going to continue the same bringing the top two loops over attach your stitch marker to this band that's around your hook and remove off the loom you should have five stitches Move your bands around so it's nice and even. And one, two, three, four, and five is on your hook. For round two, we're gonna increase on every chain around. So adding two bands to each chain, two single crochets, two, 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 and two. So at the end of round two, you're gonna have 10 stitches. So you wanna go in your first chain and do two single crochets, one band at a time. Back in that same chain to add your second band. And repeat on the next chain over, adding two bands one at a time. And then continue to each chain around until you get to the stitch marker. And my last one. So again, you should have 10 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round three, we're going to increase on every second stitch. So you're going to do one single crochet followed by an increase. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. At the end of round three, you're going to have 15 stitches. So if you follow the layout, you're going to go with the first one in your first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and bring one band through. That's your single crochet. Moving on to the second chain, you want to do your increase, so it's two single crochets in that one chain. Back in. And repeat one, two.
the next chain with two. And repeat until you get to the stitch marker. Again, you should have 15 stitches and remove your stitch marker. Add it to the band that's around your hook. For round four, we're going to increase on every third stitch. So the pattern is single crochet, single crochet, followed by an increase. You're going to repeat this pattern five times, and at the end of round four, you're going to have 20 stitches. So let's go on our first two chains with one band. The next chain, and the third chain, you're adding two. So there's your increase. Back in, try again, back in, and repeat, one, one, two. and repeat one, one, two. Continue this until you get to your stitch marker. So again, you should have 20 stitches and remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round five, we're gonna increase on every fourth stitch now. So it's gonna be one, 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 two. One, 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 two. All the way until you get to the stitch marker. You're gonna repeat this five times and at the end of round five, you're gonna have 25 stitches. So I'm going to go in my first three chains, one, two, and three, with one band, not where it's getting pulled. And my fourth chain, I'm adding two bands. Back in. And you want to repeat, one, 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 two. You want to continue until you get to the stitch marker.
Again, you should have 25 stitches and remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For rounds six and seven, you're gonna do 25 single crochets. So adding one band to each chain. One, 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 all the way around. I'm gonna do part of round six with you and then you're gonna pause the video and come back to me when you're completed round seven. So I'm just gonna go in my first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and add my first band. And the next chain with one. So each pile I have 25 elastics. So at the end of each round, you should have 25 stitches or 25 chains. So I think you can pause the video and just continue until you get to the stitch marker and you can remove the stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook and come back to me when you've completed round seven. For round eight, we're gonna add bands for the eyes and then I will be cutting them off with a pair of scissors. I don't have my scissors in front, so this means scissors. We are gonna be cutting the eyes off. I'm going to do 25 single crochets, so adding one band, one, 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 all the way around. This is going to represent my eye placement. I find that this helps me. You don't have to do that, but this will help me to find the correct eye placing um, after. So, I uh, can't find my Smurf, so we'll use him. So then after I'll be doing all of this. So pick what you would like to use for the eyes. and. Um, I'm going to be adding the eyes on chains 11 and 14. So the bands I have 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25, and my eyes will be going on chains 11 and 14. So I'm gonna go in the first 10 chains with just one band. So not where it's getting pulled, and just bringing my bands through. I'm gonna be counting in my head up until chains 10. So now I'm going to be adding the eye on chain 11. So I'm going to go in my chain, wrap my black band, this will be the band I cut, around my hook four times. One, two, three, and four. And you want to bring your band through the little eye band, my eye placement, and slide. And now two more single crochets and then add your other eye. And the other eye wrapped four times. This is one and two, three and four. You can even do three if you'd like. And four. Uh, slide. Now continue with one band in each chain until you get to the stitch marker. the dog I'm sorry so again you should have 25 stitches and remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook for rounds 9 10 
11 and 12, you're just doing 25 single crochets. So adding one band to each chain, one, 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 all the way around. At the end of each round, you should have 25 stitches. So in each pile, I have 25 bands. I'm gonna do part of round nine with you and then you're gonna pause the video and complete and come back to me when you've completed round 12. So I'm gonna go in my first chain, not where it's getting pulled. I like to point that out because when I'm not on camera, I love to go in that stitch for some reason. So never where it's getting pulled and bringing your first band through. And moving on to the next chain with one. So I think that you can pause the video, continue the round until you get to your stitch marker, and come back to me when you're done. For round 13, we're going to start to decrease. I want this area a little bit tighter so I won't be using the invisible decrease method. So the pattern will be three single crochets and four and five together. One, 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 four and five together. You're going to repeat this pattern five times and at the end of round 13 you're going to have 20 stitches. So let's go in our first three chains with one band in each, not where it's getting pulled. So I just did three single crochets and now I'm going to take chains four Come back in and take chain five and we're going to stitch those two together. So bring your band through both of those chains, bring the face to the center of that band on your hook and side. Now repeat three single crochets, one, two, and three and four and five together. And just repeat until you get to the stitch marker. Again, you should have 20 stitches and remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round 14, it's our last round and we're going to do two single crochets and stitch three and four together. One, one, three and four together. One, one, three and four together. You're going to repeat this pattern five times. At the end of round 14, you're going to have 15 stitches and your last band you want to do a slip knot to tie it closed. So I'm going to go in the first two chains with one band in each, not where it's getting pulled. So one single crochet, the next chain, single crochet, and now take three and four and stitch together. And repeat one, 
one, three, and four together. Continue until you get to the stitch marker. Last band, so bring it through all of the loops that are on your hook, grab the end and slide. And remove your stitch marker. To start off the hat, I'm gonna use 25 bands, five, 10, 15, 20, and 25. I'm gonna create a chain and my first band is going to be my cap band, which I'm going to wrap around my hook two times. So one and two. And with the rest of the bands, the 24 bands, I'm going to create a chain. So just bringing your cap band over, grabbing the end, and continue with the chain. So if you're counting your cap band, you will have 25 chains. So this is what you should have so far. Now for round one, I'm going to do 25 single crochets around. I'm using 25 bands, so 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. I am going to attach my two ends together, making sure that my chain is nice and straight as best as I can. And grabbing that cat band that's right at the end. Now I want to make sure that it's nice and flat. I'm going to turn this around because mine is crooked. And I'm going to bring my first band through all of these loops, grab the end and slide and attach a stitch marker to this band. Now I'm going to do a reverse stitch and I'm gonna do with 24 bands, so another 24 single crochets. I'm gonna go this way instead of this way, and I'm gonna start not in the loop where my band is coming out of. I'm gonna to go to the next one. Now, when you put your hook through these chains, you wanna make sure, so I'm going from the top down, you wanna make sure that the ends of the loops are on your hook. So if I was to cut away this chain, I would still have the two ends on my actual hook. So you can see if I go the wrong way, now my chain is not on my hook. It's completely opened. So reverse, skipping where you, your band is coming out of, going through the top, down to the center, oh sorry, down to the bottom, and bring your first band through. That's how I'm going to start off. Now for your next chain, Mine always seems to be where my hook can now go through each one like this. Because now if I go through, my entire band is on my hook. And I'm going to bring my second band through and single crochet. Now, 
it's going to end up being like that all the way around. You're just keeping an eye that you're not going the wrong way, that's all. And keeping an eye that your circle is not twisting on you. This is my second time doing the first four rounds um, because I had a bit of a gap where I started and stopped. So you may see that throughout the rest of this um, parts for the hat, I wanted to get rid of that. And I kind of figured out how to. So my little loop here is twisted. So I'm just gonna figure out how I'm gonna go through. Oops, and I should go through the whole chain. And it should just work out just fine. Now I'm at my cap band, so I want to make sure that my loops are not twisted and I'm just going through the cap band, so where we started. I'm going to bring my band through, single crochet, and remove my stitch marker and add it to the band that's already on my, that's on my hook. That band where I just removed, that was my first stitch, so that um, doesn't count, it just shows you the stitch before. So this is how, sorry about that, this is how you ended. We are going to now turn it around and go the way that we always crochet. So I'm going to do 25 single crochets, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. And I'm going to go this way, not in my reverse stitch, and I'm not going to start where my band is coming out of. What I am going to do is grab the inside loop all the way around to each one. So not where your band is coming out of, just single crochet, grabbing the inside loop only. So the first little loop, all the way around until you get to the stitch marker. So just the one. Now when I get here, what I'm gonna do is grab, I have two bands left, and I'm gonna be grabbing the, the cap band one more time. 
And when I get to the stitch marker, I'm not going to go directly where the stitch marker is because I'll still have a gap. So the exact same band, just on this side of where the stitch marker is. So you can see this little loop there. I'm going to not go where the stitch marker is. I'm going to go right on the exact same band and just grab the top little loop, the first little one of that chain. So you should have 25 stitches and I just avoided um, a big gap that you may see um, on the rest of my hat, which is very easy to fix with the tension of the bands, but the math was a little bit off. So what I'm going to do now is just remove my stitch marker and add it to the band that's around my hook. For round three and four, we're going to do 25 single crochets around, so one band, one, 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 all the way around. I'm going to do round three with you, and then you're going to pause the video and come back to me when you've completed round four. Each pile, I have 25 bands, so at the end of each round, you should have 25 stitches. So where your band is getting pulled, you don't want to start there. Go to your first visible chain and bring your first band through. And then just continue around until you get to the stitch marker. Going through the chains. Check 25 stitches, remove your stitch marker, pause the video. Now for round five, I'm going to do uh, decrease. So I'm going to do three single crochets followed by an invisible decrease where I'm adding my extra band. So three single crochets followed by an invisible decrease. So I'm going to go in my first three chains with one band. At the end of round five, you're going to have 20 stitches. So in my first chain, not where it's getting pulled, single crochet. The next chain, single crochet. And the third chain, a single crochet. Now two slip stitches in the next two chains, leaving them both on your hook. There's one, the next chain, slip stitch, three loops, and then slide. You're going to repeat this four more times until you get to the stitch marker. Three single crochets. And your invisible decrease. Three stitches and slide. Three single crochets followed by an invisible decrease. Slip stitch in the next two chains. Three loops and then you want to slide. So you just want to continue until you get to the stitch marker.
You should have 20 stitches, remove your stitch marker, and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round six and seven, you're gonna do 20 single crochets. So adding one band, one, 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 all the way around. Each pile, I have 20 bands. So at the end of each round, you should have 20 stitches. I'm gonna do part of round six with you, and then you're gonna pause the video and come back to me when you've completed. So going in your first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and bringing one band through. And the next chain with one. Now please continue until you get to the stitch marker. Pause the video and come back to me. For round eight, we're gonna do two single crochets followed by an invisible decrease. One, one, invisible decrease. So I'm just adding my extra bands. You're gonna repeat this five times. Sorry, five times. At the end of round eight, you're gonna have 15 stitches. So I'm gonna go in my first two chains with one band in each, not where it's getting pulled. And the next chain with one. Now your invisible decrease, so adding a slip stitch, leave it on my hook, next chain, slip stitch, three loops and then slide. And repeat one, one, slip stitch, next chain, slip stitch, three loops and then slide. Repeat until you get to the stitch marker. So again, you should have 15 stitches and remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round nine, we're gonna do 15 single crochets. So one band in each, one, 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 all the way around. I have 15 bands here. So at the end of round nine, you should have 15 stitches. Going in your first chain, not where it's getting pulled and bringing your first band through the next chain with one, and the next chain with one until you get to the stitch marker. You should have 15 stitches, remove your stitch marker, and add it to the band around your hook. For round 10, we're going to decrease again. So I'm going to do one single crochet followed by an invisible decrease. One, and then your invisible decrease, adding an extra band. At the end of round 10, you're going to have 10 stitches. So I'm gonna do go um, in my first chain with a single crochet 
and my next two chains is my little slip stitch leaving it on my hook. Three loops and slide and repeat single crochet followed by an invisible decrease. Shove 10 stitches and remove your stitch marker. For rounds 11, 12, 13, and 14, um, this just might get a little confusing, so just um, we're going to do one row at a time. I'm going to do round 11. I'm going to do eight single crochets one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, followed by an invisible decrease. At the end of round 11, you're going to have nine stitches. So I'm just going to go with the next round to, to explain. Maybe you'd want to jump ahead. For round 12, I'm going to do seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, followed by an invisible decrease. So this was eight single crochets, this is seven single crochets. At the end of round 12, you're going to have eight stitches. For round 13, we're going to do six single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, followed by an invisible decrease. And for round 14, we're going to do five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five, followed by an invisible decrease. So to repeat, at the end of round 11, you're going to have nine stitches. At the end of round 12, you will have eight stitches. At the end of round 13, you're going to have seven stitches. And at the end of round 14, you're going to have six stitches. So let's do round 11, eight single crochets followed by an invisible decrease. So going in your first stitch, your first chain with one band. So your last two chains will be basically stitched together. That's your decrease. So my last two chains, I'm going to do my slip stitch. Three loops, slide and remove your stitch marker. For round 12, seven single crochets followed by your decrease. stitch, slip stitch, slide, remove your stitch marker, you should have eight stitches, and for round 13, six single crochets followed by your invisible decrease. Remove your stitch marker. You should have seven stitches. For round 14, six single crochet, oh sorry, five single crochets followed by your invisible decrease.
slip stitch. Remove your stitch marker. You should have six stitches. Add this to the band around your hook. For rounds 15, 16, 17, and 18, you're doing six single crochets. So each pile I have six bands. So at the end of each round, you should have six stitches. I'm gonna do round 15 with you, and then you're gonna pause the video and come back to me when you've completed round 18. So I'm gonna go in the first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and just adding one band. And the next chain with one. It is going to get um, kind of tight, so just make sure you're not skipping any of your stitches. Now it's up to you if you want to use the stitch marker here. I won't be using the stitch marker because it's so tiny and I have my bands organized. Um, I don't need the stitch marker. And I find that it's in the way. You can remove, pause the video, come back to me when you're done. For round 19, I'm going to close this off and I'm going to do two decreases. I'm not going to do the invisible decrease. I'm just going to take stitch one and two and stitch together and three and four and stitch together. And with this band, I'm going to do a slip knot to tie it closed. So if you open it up, I'm going to stitch these two together. This is one open it up, and two. Bring your first band through both of those chains on your hook and slide. Now I'm going to stitch the next two together with my hook here, open it up, and this band I'm going to bring through all of the loops that are on my hook to tie it closed. Now we're going to create the eyes, and this is what I'm going to be doing. I am using a 76 millimeter safety eye. Now if you don't have the safety eyes, I'm, this is taking me about two weeks to figure out what it is that I could do for an eye um, other than what I'm going to be doing. So please decide what you would like to use. This is a four millimeter pony bead and I'm just bringing it through with a rubber band. So same kind of effect of what I'll be doing with the safety eye. Now if you don't have the four millimeter pony bead, I kind of did the same thing with a rubber band wrapped four times, and I'm gonna slide through with a single band. I am using felt, white felt, so if you don't have the white felt, you could use a cardstock, you can use normal white paper, I would use two sheets of white paper and glue them together, um, whatever you would like. But because this is what the supplies that I have, this is what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to take my felt and I'm going to cut two eyes at the same time. Now this is going to be my guide, this little um, googly eye. I am, this is what I used for the minions and it's a 0.7 um, inch by 18 millimeter uh, just as my guide. So I'm going to take my felt and fold it in half, and please be careful if you're using the scissors, you know, ask an adult. And I'm just going to cut around the eye, just as my guide. So you can, if you don't have this either, you're going to have to find something small enough that's proportioned with the face, and I'm thinking that is not going to be a problem. I've seen most of your work, and I don't think that it will be an issue. So I'm just cutting two eyes at the exact same time, trying my best to go around. And if I have these little jagged edges, I'm just gonna try to make my little circles. Now for the beads or the band, 
all you're going to do is slide your band through your pony bead or your band one, two, three, and four. If you prefer, you can go around five times. You wanna slide this onto a single band. And I'm actually just gonna put this down for a second. We need to make a little hole. So I'm just gonna do a little slit, not too close to the edge, but I don't wanna go in the middle. So a little slit without cutting your finger. Mine are very dull at the tip, so I'm not really gonna go through. So just be extra careful. And I'm just gonna find my hole if I made one. Nope. And I'm just gonna push my hook through just to open it up. Such a small thing, I really don't want you cutting your finger. So if you have a toothpick, it's even better. Or push your hook through. And I was doing this on the first shot, of course not while the camera is there. So just push your hook through and kind of give it a little stretch. Now you can go ahead and push your safety eye through or you want to bring your band through. So I'm just going to go put my hook through and grab both ends and I want to bring them to the other side. And you can let go and do the other eye. Now just make sure that you have a nice even circle around. Now to attach the eyes. What I'm going to do is with my safety eye, I'm going to go, here's my little guiding band kind of eye placement. I'm going to go right in the center, like towards the center and push my safety eye in. And then I'm going to cut this band. Now if you are using the one with the bead, uh, sorry, with the band or the bead, you want to place it in the exact same spot. So on either side towards the center, just go through the back. You're going to bring, if you're using the bands, you're going to have to bring one on one side. So hold it, secure it. And the other side, you want to come out right beside and grab the band. And it will be okay once you cut this band. You're going to want to do a slip knot with another band, whether it be blue or black, whatever you want to use. I'd probably recommend using the same color as the face. And then you can secure it on the other side. So with my safety eye, I'm going towards the center. And it kind of looks like that. Kind of looks like Cookie Monster. So before I put my backings on, I am going to cut that band. So you want to be extra careful that you don't cut the face. And grab the backing. Make sure the rest of the head is out of the way. Don't push too hard all the way down. The bands just get stretched. That's something that uh, took me the hard way to figure out. And the same thing. Be very careful you don't cut the face. Other backing. Turn it around. And I'm just going to leave it like that. It's really bad if you start cutting while the felt is on. Um, don't do it. Don't do it. So that part's done. And next, we're going to attach the nose. Now to attach the nose. Where you have the two stitches that are right beside each other, those two stitches are going to go through these two holes right below the eyes. So you're going to put your hook underneath, come out, bring your sewing band through and leave it on your hook. You're going to go right beside the other one, the other hole on the face and bring that other sewing band that's right beside it through and slide. Now I'm just going to push it up. Now you have four, two more bands to go. 
So you want to evenly just spread those ones out. You don't want it too close because his nose is going to be flat. So kind of, don't let go of the band, but kind of release and give yourself, I let go. You want to just kind of release it so you can see where to add them nice and evenly. So I'm going to go just right in here, bring my sewing band through. I'm going to slide and I'm going to look where I should go next and I'm going to go right beside. Bring my next sewing band through and slide. Now we want to check the placement and that should be okay for me. So what I'm going to do is just so this these aren't loose, I'm going to grab a couple of these stitches. So first I want to make sure because I let go. So we just want to slide. I'm just going to go reverse and just grab two of the stitches just to make it tight or tighter. And I'm going to take a single band and do a slip knot to secure it and tie it closed. And then just check. And that's what it should look like. <laughs> now I'm going to do the eyebrows. For Papa Smurf, I used white. For the regular Smurf, I used black. And for Smurfette, I used black as well. So whatever which one you're making, I'm going to do the eyebrows and I'm going to use a single band and I'm going to grab, go through right above the eye. I'm going to go from one end and I'm going to skip and come out the other. I'm going to bring a single black band through and tie it off with a blue band or whatever color you want. For Papa Smurf, I even used a white band. Grab the end and tie it off. I went through the top of the head or to the other side here really and coming out the hole and bringing my slip knot to the other side. And without grabbing stuffing, ah. And the other side, the same thing. Find your placement. We really want it even with this side too. Skip, skip, maybe I will go through here. This one is always easy that, sorry, you could remove after. You can do at the end um, when you've completed. But just to have this part done and show you, this is where I added it. Now for the mouth, Popeye didn't add a mouth. Smurf Eye used double bands and um, with a single blue band to tie it off. And Smurfette, I just kind of gave a little one with the red. For some reason I can't use double red bands and create a mouth, like it, it's just not working out for me. So you can use two or you can use the one. And I am going to just do one. I am creating Papa Smurf, but just to show, um, under the nose, and I'm gonna go as with double bands, so we should tie them together. Grab one band, do a slip knot, tie it together. And find your placement. So I am gonna go, hmm, I am gonna go the length of my hook. So you just wanna find your placement. And I'm going to bring my band through, grab the end, and do a slip knot. So 
So find your placement. I think this one's pretty straightforward. I always have a hard time. And find yours. Now to attach the hat. I'm going to do six slip knots around and then we're going to fix this piece down. So I'm going to put my hat with the back at the back and I'm going to put the hat on and place it just above the eyebrows. Oh, just so you can see, if you're doing the girl, I did little um, slip knots for the eyelashes and then cut them. So I'm just going to place this right above the eyebrows, which I'm going to have to change to white. <laughs> I didn't even realize. And I'm going to do six slip knots, six slip knots around. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. What I'm going to do is you're going to see this chain right here. And then you're going to see your chain here. This is the chain where we grab the inside loop. I'm going to grab one band or try to on the head and then just grab that inside loop again. And I'm going to do a slip knot. And on the other side, a little bit further away, grabbing one on the head in that inside loop only. And I'm going to do just space them out a little bit. So I have four more to go. I'm going to go on this side, trying to grab just one stitch on the head. Slip knot. And then we need three more. You might want to just check the placement again. And again, you can just move those bands around. And then you're just going to hide your little slip knots by going through the head underneath the hat and then just hiding your little slip knots. And you can do that to each one around. Now for the ears. There's three rounds. Round one, we're using four bands. Round two, I'm using three bands. And round three, I'm using three bands. So to find the placement, the first thing for round one it was, is we're gonna do four single crochets going down the side of the face in a straight line. So you can see here's the eye placements, exact same eye placement. And I kind of just went um, below the eyebrow, one, two, and then three, and then grabbed the chain here on the face. So I'm gonna do the same thing one, two, and three. So grabbing this band right beside. Now I'm gonna bring my first band through and do a single crochet. So grab the end and slide. Now I'm gonna turn my hook and grab the chains straight down, four of them. You're gonna to have to check your placement. So this is two, straight down. So I'm going to be towards the face. It would just, uh, so the stitch right beside, and then I'm just going to check the placement. 
three, and then straight down, and four. So I'm just going to check, oop, it all unraveled. So that's what the straight line that I'm gonna go. So I didn't go towards the face, I kind of went towards the back, because some of my chains were coming towards the actual eyes. So I'm gonna put that back on. I'm not gonna use a stitch marker, I'm gonna stitch in reverse. So I'm just gonna turn them around, and I'm gonna use three bands and three single crochets. I'm not gonna start where my band is coming out of. I'm gonna go one, two, and then grab the chain where I started. So skip, middle chain, my last chain, so I just did two single crochets, and now grabbing where I started towards the eye. So I'm not gonna go behind, I'm gonna go towards. So this is where I started on the face, and I'm gonna do a single crochet. Now for round three, I'm gonna go in reverse, turn it around so the eyes are facing away from you, and the same thing, I'm gonna skip where my band is coming out of, but I'm gonna go from the face towards the back when I crochet. So I'm gonna skip where my band is coming out of, one, two, go um, on the chain where you started on the face and do a slip knot with your last band. So through the center, single crochet, your last chain, single crochet, and then grab the chain on the face towards the front, so where you started, and do a slip knot. So bring it through all the bands, grab the end, and tie it off. And there's one eye, uh, ear. So we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side, making sure that we're even with this side. So you wanna find your placement, the same thing that we did beside the eye. One, two, and three, grabbing the band. We wanna be on the same row, kind of. So one, two, and three, and grab the band. And you wanna make sure that you're even. You're gonna do four single crochets down the face. So this is one. You wanna go straight down. So I'm gonna go, that's one, two, three, and four. On the other side of your loops, making sure towards the back, and then I'm just gonna make sure that the placement is okay by comparing it to the other side. And I just let go of my stitches, sorry. But I'm ended along the same row of this one. At least I think I did. So just putting my stitches back on my hook and I'm gonna turn them around and for round two, three single crochets, skipping the first chain where your band is coming out of and you're gonna end back on the face. So I'm going from the eyes towards the back while putting my hook in. Two, three, oh sorry, this is two, and ending back on the face towards the eyes. So right where I started, single crochet, check the placement, and that's good enough. And now I'm gonna reverse with three bands. My last band is gonna be the slip knot on the face. So skip where your band is coming out of, go through the middle chain, single crochet, your last chain, single crochet. Grab the face towards the eyes and slip knot. and then just check the placement. And that should be okay. You can hide these little slip knots. I just kind of went in the back and pulling it out the other end. And the same thing with this side. 
Now for the last part to attach this piece down, which yes, I almost forgot to do, you're gonna find where you'd like to have it. I'm kind of gonna go on an angle and I'm gonna reach in, so somewhere along here, and I'm gonna do a slip knot with a single band. I'm gonna grab one stitch on the face. So I'm going to have it here. I'm gonna reach in and try to grab one stitch, not the stuffing, and grab a stitch on the actual hat. And I'm gonna bring my band through. Grab the end and do a slip knot. Both of these little slip knots I'm gonna hide. So the top one, I'm gonna go through the top part of the hat, bring it through, try to hide it a little bit better. And the last one, just going through the hat and hiding. And that one's done. I didn't hide that yet.